The Chemins de Verre de l'Etat, state railways, often referred to in France as the Réseau de l'Etat, state network, was an early state-owned French railway company. Topic: <laughs> History. The company was established by state order of the Third Republic on 25 May 1878 to take over ten small failing railway companies operating in the area between the rivers Loire and Garonne. Compagnie des Chemins de Verre des Charentes, 777 km, opened 1867. Compagnie des Chemins de Verre de la Vendée, 495 km, opened 1865. Compagnie du Chemin de Verre d'Orléans à Challens, 293 km, opened 1873. Compagnie du Chemin de Verre d'Orléans à Rouen, de Leia, 338 km, opened 1867. Compagnie des Chemins de Verre Nantes, 185 km, opened September 1875. Compagnie des Chemins de Verre de Maine et Loire et Nantes, 91 km, opened February 1877. Compagnie du Chemin de Verre de Brescia à Poitiers. Compagnie du Chemin de Verre de saint nazaire au Croisic. Compagnie du Chemin de Verre de Clermont à Tulle. Compagnie du Chemin de Verre de Poitiers à Saumur. Additional acquisitions included. Compagnie Bordeaux, La Sauve, 29 km, opened May 1873, acquired by C. F. Des Charentes in June 1874, sold to the P.O. in 1883. Compagnie de la Cedra, circa 50 km, opened 1874, acquired by Eat at July 1880. Compagnie Barbezieux, Chateauneuf sur Charente, opened 1872, acquired by Eat in 1893. Compagnie Allies, Rhone, Mediterranee, opened 1882, acquired by Etat in 1883. On 18 November 1908, the Etat absorbed the Chemins de Verre de l'Ouest and in 1934 took over the Paris Orleans Company's lines in southern Brittany. At its greatest extent, its operating area comprised all the territory west of a line extending from Dieppe by way of Paris to Bordeaux. On 1 January 1938 the ETAT merged with all the other French railway companies to form the Société Nationale des Chemins de Verre Français SNCF, becoming that company's region west. The ETAT then took a seat on the SNCF's board of directors, as did all the other companies until 1982 when all traces of the constituents of the SNCF disappeared. Lean Paris Bordeaux One of the PO's flagship lines was Paris Orleans Bordeaux. The ETAT wished to create a competing line to the PO's. The PO line served Tours, Poitiers, and Angoulême, while the ETAT decided to serve Chartres, Courtellon, Saumur, Niort, and Saints, almost parallel to the competing line. Thanks to purchases and exchanges made in 1878 with the PO, by 1884, the ETA operated Chartres, Courtellon, Besse sur Bray, Chateau sur Loya, Saumur, Montreuil Belay, Montreuil Belay, Saint Jean d'Angely, Saint Jean d'Angely, Saints, Saints, Cavignac Courtellon, Besse sur Bray was opened in 1885 as well as Chateau sur Loya, Saumur Cavignac. At Le Grave d'Ambers a junction with the PO was built, and ETA trains linked Paris and Bordeaux on of July 1886. The last line portion was the hardest to build. On 1 July 1893, an extension via Lormont was opened. Three years later, on 1 August 1896 Bordeaux-ETA was opened, welcoming trains from Paris. The ETA's line was 610 km while the PO's was 582 km. These were the only competing lines in France. This lasted until 1938, date of the creation the SNCF, when the PO line was kept. The Daughtry era Raoul Daughtry became managing director of the ETAT in 1928. His desires were to reconquer the railway company's clientele, especially due to the popularity of the car. 
Daughtry began many modernization projects, including infrastructure, stations and the opening of new lines mainly Paris Chartres by Gallardin. The electrification of the Paris Le Mans line represents the biggest of his constructions, the line was at the time the most modern line in France. Another one of his influences was the purchase of 600 new passenger cars. Fifty of the cars were luxurious cars and were used on the new electrified line. As early as 1929, the ETIT began experimenting with DMUs with a first order of Renault trains. In 1931, an agreement is reached between Michelin and the ETIT, authorizing trials of the Michelin train. By 1933, the trains were used for expresses between Paris and Deauville. During the summer of 1937, the French government ruled in favor of the nationalization of the French railways. As a sign of disagreement, Daughtry resigned, he was later elected into the SNCF's managing council. Line openings Locomotives Notes <laughs> 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 <laughs>